Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today I am going to guide you and explain how to create slices if you want to do laser cut and you have a 3D model that you created in uh, 3D Max. So let's start. First of all, we need to run uh, 3D Max. Okay, set up parameters, customize unit setup metric well, I like millimeters in Russia <laughs> we don't like inches just for, for simplicity NASA guys also use millimeters and metric system now let's uh, import the, our model okay somewhere we had a Christmas tree yeah New Year's past <laughs> and we have we, we want to build a new Christmas tree for next year okay so uh, Let's set up quick weld and our model loaded faster. Okay, now you can see it here. Okay, it looks nice. Okay, uh, let's check for interactions. Alright, so we don't need interactions, intersections, sorry, of surfaces. So we need that surfaces would not uh, intersect each other. So we need to remove it, uh, let's say eliminate. Okay, now um, we need to detach the border. Christmas tree. Let's hide everything but the, but the body. Okay. The model is not locked now. Yeah, we can we can see it here. And uh, yeah, probably pro probably to say closed. I don't know. So um, now we can join. Okay. So let's compound object pre boolean. Select union and click start picking. And select the body once again intersections now right so the model is clear neither at the top so um, select struck picking to finish the object let's adjust the size so let's make it like 10 centimeters so we, we need a ruler okay and let's make it more like 10 centimeters high it's like um, for Americans it's uh, like or orange. It's not a big one, but uh, we want to show you how to make it for a DIY machine. So you'll be able to use our DIY machine with a size 8 on 8 uh, inch. Okay, let's uh, set 0 on Z axis. Now scaling is possible. Now we can actually decrease the size. We scale it smaller make sure that will be in size and uh, 10 centimeters for inch couple millimeters won't make any difference uh, so we don't need this box anymore so we scaled it back um, remains Cut, use a grid blinding. Okay, let's uh, go to magnet. Okay. Home grid tab. Okay. Select grid equal to our desired size. Make sure that the grid points here. Okay, create all shapes. Section. Put it in the center. Okay. and activate it by the thing. Okay, and now let's cut, it, let's cut it into slices. So we'll do one centimeter, so cross sections, okay, shift by one square. So now we'll cut every single slice. So as you can see, this um, third tree will have like, like 20, 20 slices, something like that. Okay, so we cut every single square, maybe half centimeter. Okay. So we did that. Right. So we have different slices of our third tree. So we don't no longer need any. We don't 
then is a 3D model, I've already cut it into slices. Alright, we're about to, to delete it as soon as we already have, have these um, slices, shapes. Okay, now you have slices that we need to to adjust a little bit. Check the result and thickness. The layers of with the extruder modifier. Okay, right now we have it. Um, we can set extrusion. Okay, we don't need uh, small objects like this. So let's let's remove tiny details, tiny slices. We don't need them because. It looks pretty good without them. I mean, you can leave them, but in, in, in fact, in, in this tutorial, we just want to make it simpler, and then we just delete slice after sli not, not slice, but part from a slice one after another. Okay. job is done. I don't know if you have the same. Well begun is half done. <laughs> I think we already did half of the process. So now I have slices right as you can see look pretty pretty good. We are about to about to ready to um, put them into one plate. Okay let's make the same color tree is green and prepare the outlines for the export. Select all the layers and delete the extruder modifier. Right, okay, you can see different layers. Turn off the grid with G button. Pull apart um, the outlines to avoid over overlapping. Okay, so we want to make sure that every single slice uh, will not overlap with the previous one. Oh, yeah, I, I think I missed one. I oh, know. Okay, we're all ready. Okay, let's, let's select everyone, but uh, without the last one. Right. Almost done. Align the outlines in one plane. Uh, right click the shift tool. Make the y coordinate equal to zero. It's very important. Okay. And you see that they're all on zero, right? And now we can uh, put them together. So now distribute the outlines more compact way. So let's rotate it 180 uh, degree, degrees and let's move it up. Just want to save uh, our material. So we want to put it on the one, let's say square, square plate. Let's rotate this part as well and put it here and the same exercise will do this piece. Okay. So we moved it here, but uh, you see that uh, we need to avoid any inter intersections. So we'll move it a little bit to the left to make sure that we have enough space between these two parts. With closer here and also closer here. Okay. Now I like it. Yeah, and you see it here. So we need to to split them a little bit. Create a rectangle around the outline, so we want to make a certain size, so we need to res restore the real outline size after inputting, because we need to make sure that uh, we know the size of, of this, of our, um, of our plate. So we have a, let's say, 160 millimeters, on 160 it's like, uh, 
closer to eight or uh, six inch so that you'll be able to do this laser cutting on our DIY machine export possible export specify a directory endurancelasers.com and just go to the bottom and find download center um, doesn't support DXF actually um, the Inkscape so we need a special converter uh, that's why we go to a website dxfconverted.org and we take our file right and we want to save it as SVG right so uh, now it's for that processing the result will be a little bit faster now so okay now we have SVG file yeah, just as for simplicity, you may use other converters as you wish, but uh, we, we like this one and this solution works pretty good. size because we have you remember we have 160 160 millimeters almost uh, six inch for American European guys and I think American and British mostly <laughs> Europeans they use millimeters and metric system okay so we are all set so we now we need to combine the corners just uh, to make sure that we will match their sizes and we'll put it all together. Okay, now you can see. Combine the rectangles. Now we're all set. The outlines are one set by one. I'll ungroup the imported outlines because we need to remove these uh, these lines from. I mean the rectangle. We don't need it anymore. Let's ungroup it. We use Russian version to delete everything except our fir tree. Now no, we are well set. Okay, we're almost done. We have about a couple minutes left. So we need to, to go to generate the G code, go to generate G code, use GT Photonics. Uh, we can change different parameters, laser speed, uh, laser power, passes. Uh, for this, let's say 10 passes would be enough if you use um, not 8 watt laser. For 8 watt laser, you can cut what with one pass, four millimeter of plywood or wood. But uh, to make sure you, you you do experiments before, so when you know exactly before parameters, you can do it before. You can do it in advance just to check it out uh, because you won't, don't want to have burned uh, outlines. And uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, click apply. Take some time, even on a faster computer. Uh, generating G code probably would be like 20, maybe 30,000 lines uh, because they are also repeat, so basically it would be like 5,000 probably. And when you multiply on 10, it's like, oh, maybe 20,000. So we are almost done. You can see a final G code. Now you can use it and run on different soft solutions on like Penbox, CNCC, LaserX. That's it. So I hope that you like this video, please share it with your friends and uh, you, you may put our likes, they encourage our, ourselves to, they, they encourage endurance team to make more videos and guidance and have a nice laser cutting, hope that you like it with our lasers.
and have a good day. Bye-bye.